in case you didn't notice so far, uh, those numbers, by the way, are just representing the, sh the left numbers, always representing the shrink value, the right numbers representing the grow value. I think I didn't mention this um, so far, which is pretty stupid, actually. But um, uh, I guess most of you just noticed, and if you didn't, um, now, now you have it. Okay, so... Um, Maybe you remember when we started talking about flex basis, we I actually told you that there are two useful ways how to define it. Now the first way we mentioned was to think about it as the ideal size along the main axis or the size that the elements want to have along the main axis. Now for the second definition, um, this is actually touching what we are working on right now which is the shrink and the grow properties. Now, one question we didn't ask yet was, and maybe you asked the question um, for yourself, but I didn't answer it definitely yet, is what's actually about this name? Why is this called basis? Now, normally things are called size, width or height, stuff like that, we, we, we know what that means. Why is this called basis? It has to be a basis for something. And that's exactly what it is. Now, flex basis, is a basis for the shrink and the grow, basically. And in other words, when you have enough space in your container, flex basis tells you how to set your, your size, but when you have to distribute the space, what you do with shrink and grow, flex basis is telling you with what value to start when you distribute um, your space. 